Hi Aries! Oh, it feels so good to be back. I think it's been like a month. I think the last time I did the Zodiac readings was for mid-July, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, this is going to be for September or the first half of September. Hopefully I can also do mid-September readings. And it is a love reading, so it's going to be about you and another person that is on your mind. And <clears throat> it is general, so do keep that in mind. It's not going to be everybody's situation, but of course, if you would like a personal reading, you can get all that information in the description box. And this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aries. And as always, the roles can be reversed because it is a general reading. All right, Aries, let's see what is going on with you in a love situation in September. All right, for the situation, we have the hanged man crossed by the strength card. All right, so Leo is already showing up in your reading. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo. It feels like there's a situation here where things seem to have been at a standstill or it feels like somebody is just not really moving or maybe you're not moving. It just feels like you don't know where this is going. And it could be that there is um, some courage that somebody needs to really tap into in their own selves in order to move this forward. So I'm actually getting that with this hanged man. It's actually coming in with not the greatest energy because the hanged man does have some positive aspects. But with the strength being in the challenge position here, um, it does feel that it is somebody who is possibly scared there's some fear here in terms of moving forward and so they're choosing to just kind of sit back and not do much at the moment um, or at least that's what's been happening but we'll see for your energy we have the three of swords the two of pentacles and the eight of cups okay so you're there's a lot of heartbreak here. Um, I feel like, you know, there may have been a lot of waiting um, on somebody's side here, but you're definitely feeling the pain here. There's a, there's heartbreak, there's pain. Um, I do see you moving away from this though, all right? Because we do have the Eight of Cups here, right? So this is what you're moving towards, meaning that you're moving away from that hurt. Yes, you know, you're leaving a trail of blood behind you but ultimately you are detaching you it's like you're moving away from this situation whatever this is um, it's not easy all right with the two of Pentacles being here it definitely feels like it has been a long stormy roller coaster <laughs> type of uh, you know road here for you but it's like you're I feel like you're finally getting to this place where you can detach yourself from this pain does it mean that this connection is over not necessarily you're just moving away from this pain and that could be you know what um what elicits a shift here but let's see for the other person we have temperance the ace of cups and the two of cups so and again, you know, because everybody's situation is different. Um, it could even be that I'm tapping into two different situations for some of you, okay? So do keep that in mind. Um, what I'm seeing here, though, for this other person is that it feels like they have been patient. Um, but not only that, I, I feel like this person is finding some kind of a balance or is like... Um, tempering themselves in some way, but there's a lot of love here. I mean, a lot of it. I mean, temperance, the ace of cups, and the two of cups. This person is definitely moving towards love, um, but also being patient at the same time in some way. Not wanting to rush something here. Again, roles can be reversed. Let's see. For the potential outcome we have justice okay so libra also showing up here we also have sagittarius um this is actually a very positive outcome to have right this is finding a lot of balance this is a decision being made 
this is karmic lessons being learned and karmic cycles also closing out like justice is served here so whatever is meant to happen or whatever is in your highest good or in your highest interest that is playing out here and it's all coming in because you're walking away from whatever it is that is causing you pain so let's actually clarify these I probably won't clarify them all because I feel like the message here is pretty clear um, but let's clarify some of these let's definitely clarify the situation here that hanged man with the strength card All right, and we have death, all right, Scorpio. We have the moon, Pisces, and we have the queen of pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, there's definitely a third party that is involved here. So it could be that somebody's walking away um, with this detachment. could be from the third party. It doesn't have to be that for all of you. I'm just getting that that's a specific message for some of you. So if you are in a situation because um, this could be a different person down here you're moving away though from something that has been causing you pain and not only that from a situation that is done all right there's a situation here that just feels like it's it there needs to be a shift something needs to change something has concluded now that could even be the stagnation the waiting right um, the not moving being in this hanged man position so this could even be um, your person if that's who has been in the hanged man position, right? Not finding that strength. It's like putting an end to that. However, this ending though, what's interesting about it is that it comes with a lot of, um, a lot of like unknowns. There's something here that is, it's like hiding. And I do feel like whatever whatever that is, it's coming up to the surface here. And whatever that is that's coming up to the surface, that is what is providing someone with the ability to tap into their strength here, to move out of this hanged man position. It still feels fearful, but the difference is, is that, yeah, it might be scary, but I'm still going to take some action anyway and think about my own self and what is good for me and what serves me, even if it is scary. That's the difference. Whereas before it was like, oh, because it's scary, like I'm just not going to move in any direction whatsoever. All right, really interesting. Um, again, this, I'm not sure if this is you or the other person. Just take the messages as they make sense, all right? Because it is a general reading. All right, let's see for your energy. For that Three of Swords, definitely want to clarify that. We have Justice, uh, sorry, Judgment, as well as the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you've had like some kind of an epiphany here in terms of the path that you need to take physically. Like not just on the mental level, but but actually physically. Um, and actually this, whatever this epiphany is or whatever it is that you have learned, you learned that because of the pain. So it wasn't for nothing. It's helping you to get on, on your path, on your path towards something, which is ultimately bringing you justice. Um, let's see that Eight of Cups. The Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Wow, look at what you're walking away from. Aries, this is deep. This is deep. You're walking away from a situation that you felt really, really trapped in. Um, a situation that has been done possibly for like a very long time. Uh, but I feel like maybe with this moon, like there was a lot of confusion about that ending. All right, if this is you moving away from that, whatever that is. And it, it, it could be an aspect of the situation. It could be an aspect of your own self. Whatever it is, you're leaving that in the past. Um, the hardest part is already over. For you all right that pain is in your past that ten of swords like you're so moving away from that 
You're moving away from the feeling, feeling trapped. You're moving away from the fear. Or you're moving away despite of the fear of where you're going. And you're definitely wounded. I can see that. You're definitely wounded, but you're doing it. All right. Let's see for this other person here. Who is this? Let's see temperance. We have the Fool and we have the Eight of Cups for them as well here. So I don't know if this is somebody who has been waiting for you to walk away, um, but that's what it kind of feels like. Almost like, wait, it's like this person is wanting to make some kind of a move, but they've been waiting for you to emotionally detach from something. Whether it, it, it might even be from them, right? And this could be working subconsciously. So it's not like they're, you know, deliberately thinking, oh, I want Aries to walk away from me and then I'm going to go after them. <laughs> um, it doesn't work like that. But uh, there's something here involving them being patient. But it's almost like they're impatiently being patient, like holding back and waiting for, for this Eight of Cups um, to happen on your end. Um, it also feels like this might be somebody who has like abandoned some kind of some kind of a leap. Like uh, it, it almost feels like this is somebody who was about to make a move or about to take a step in a new direction. And then they were like, okay, wait, no, let's not rush and took a step back. Um, or that could be <clears throat> kind of playing out right now, but I see I usually see these first cards more of what has been happening or you know what may have already happened. It's like a progression, but the timelines are definitely or you know the time frames are going to be different for everybody. All right, let's see. Let's see this ace of cups and the two of cups together because I'm getting similar energies from these two cards. All right, we have the Seven of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, so this person is definitely moving towards towards love, like they're very open to it. Um, but this is also somebody who has been blocking it out, um, at least in the past. That's what I'm getting here, the Seven of Wands. I feel like they've been blocking it out, but it, it, it feels like it's because there was a lot of shakiness or there was a lot of... Um, there was some kind of an imbalance. I'm getting that they're finding their balance. This person might also be somebody who has to stand up for themselves or to really um, put in some kind of effort, especially against others or against other energies in order to move towards this. But that's what they're ultimately doing. I actually do wanna um, get two more clarifiers here. So I don't know who this is. I don't, I don't know if it's the same person that you're walking away from or the same situation that you're that you're walking away from or detaching from. Um, for some of you, this could definitely be some pain from the past that you've been carrying. Could be somebody different though. Let's see, Two of Cups. Ooh, and we have the King of Cups and the World. Whoever this is, and maybe for some of you, this is somebody new. Um, Definitely not getting that that's necessarily going to be the case for everybody, okay? But for some of you, this definitely could be something new, especially if you're walking away from um, uh, the person that you were thinking of here. Like, this is it. It just feels like whoever this person is that is coming in, it's like energetically they were waiting for you to walk away from whatever it is that you're walking away from. And then it's like this person comes in and it's like this is it. This is the person, you know? Um that you're meant to be with like it's it, it feels like a very strong thing to say but that's the message i'm getting here this is like this is pure love 
pure love here. And I feel like it's something that really completes the both of you. Okay, so finally, let's see justice for the potential outcome here. And we have ooh, the Queen of Cups, I'm telling you, the High Priestess, and the Four of Cups. Okay, so whatever it is that has been disappointing in your life, this disappointedness, it's like no more. No more of that. Um, everything is just falling into place. I mean, there's love here. There's following your intuition. It's like whatever it is that is meant to come in, that is coming in. Anything that was making you unhappy, it's like that is being rid. It's just going away, right? Justice is coming in and taking care of that. So, wow, Aries, that was a major twist here at the end. All right. So let's see, let's just get a final oracle message. Just anything that wants to come through for Aries. Again, keep in mind the roles could have been reversed here. So for Aries, a final message, please. Just anything. And we have growth. Seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. I feel like you, you this is something you've already done, all right? You're already in that space right now of the Eight of Cups. Um, you know, you've chosen the most difficult path. You have already gone through so much pain. And so there has been inevitably a lot of growth from that. Um, but definitely take any message from that that you feel is meant for you. All right, Aries, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.